Ang kailangan po siguro natin tanungin ay ang Senate, what happened, saan dinala. Simple as it is, hindi po masasagot po ng ating kalihim, no matter how we grill him, hindi po masasagot na kasama po natin na uh, Vice Chair ng Appropriation. It happened during sa BICAM and after BICAM, that's where it got lost. Na nawawala po ang pondo pagdating sa BICAM, pag akit po sa Senado, nawawala. So, hindi sa House nangyari yung pagtapyas. Nangyari doon sa Senate version. Ang problema, nagkaroon ng bicameral conference, pumayag yung House panel natin doon sa tapyas na yun. Dapat sana kung sino man yung responsible sa gumawa nito, inisip niyang mabuti ito eh. These are 4 million Filipinos who are supposed to be underprivileged na kung kinakailangan suportahan talaga. Ngayon, maring sinasadya niya, maring hindi. Mr. Chair, paano ba natin malalaman kung sino yung responsible dito? Uh, based on uh, press report that it was uh, the good Senator Amy Marcos that proposed to slash the budget for 8 billion. There might, there should be a reason. Malaking nga ito eh. Malaking problema to, Mr. Chair. Hindi naman basta naisip niya lang, napanaginip niya lang, napanaginip pa niya, biglang tatanggalin ito. Simply because there was under, underutilization here and there. Siguro kung pinag-uusapan natin dito are projects, DPW, wala namang buhay na pinag-uusapan dun eh. Ito ang AJ Bueno Vlogs. Mga kaabangers, sa pagdinig ng House Committee on Public Accounts at Social Services, nagkagulo ang mga kongresista sa Kamara dahil sa pagtapyas ng budget sa 4 piece. Inusisa ng mga kongresista ang Department of Social Welfare and Development hinggil sa 13 billion pesos sa ilalim ng 2023 national budget na para sa 4 piece ngunit isinalin sa ibang social amelioration program. Ayon kay Suarez, naaprubahan ng Kamara ang bersyon na walang ginalaw sa pera ng 4 piece. Ngunit pagdating sa Senado ay natapyas umano ang 13 billion pesos. Kaya apektado ang 843 families, hindi umano nila masikmura ang ginawa ni Senador Amy Marcos dahil sa pagnanakaw sa mga mahihirap na hindi nakatanggap ng cash aid. Dapat daw ay buwan-buwan na natatanggap ng mga beneficiaries ang assistance dahil kapag nagkaroon ng gap ay maaaring lumala ang antas ng kahirapan. Kaya naman nais ng Kamara na questionin si Senador Amy Marcos bakit tinapyasan nito ang budget ng 4 piece. Mr. Chairman, kasi wanted uh, to be uh, uh, ano, uh, knowledgeable on this issue because uh, it might happen again in the next budget hearing and it worries us because marami tayong 4 piece beneficiaries doon po sa Santa Rosa at sa buong Lalawigan ng Laguna and we are uh, trying to, uh, to secure Ah, kailangan po natin ma-secure yung ating pumamahirap ng mga kababayan And by doing so, we have to find out the root of all of this problem Kaya Mr. Chairman, I demand an answer from this committee Maraming salamat po, Mr. Chair Bakit this committee? Anyway, ah, uh, Senior Vice Chair Ah, uh, Senior Vice Chair, stay lucky boy, Mr. Recognize, please proceed Yes, Mr. Chair Um, I will share with you information from the committee report of the Senate, which shows that um, the amendment came from them. So the reduction of 6.5 billion was proposed by the Senate. What? Okay. That's for uh, Chairman Dan Fernandez. Uh, please behave well. Uh, please wait to be recognized before you speak. Uh, Senator Vice Chair, that is for the 2024 budget, that's 6.5. Yes. No. Uh, Dalawa kasi yan, yung 2023. What happens in 2023? Which is 9 billion. Well, in fact, 13 billion ngayon eh. Diba? 13 billion. Diba? Pero, of course, ang deficit yan. What I have with me are the 2024 documents. Uh, how about 2023? the 13 billion? Hey, please proceed. Sige, sige po. Yes, I, 2024 I muna tayo. Please proceed. I can read the 2023, but what I just cited uh, was the 2024. So that's on record that it was the Senate. It was the Senate. So the six points are. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Sorry, Kailangan mong isa-isa yan. Pero what agency benefits? 
I mean, uh, the big chunk of that, you know, 6.5. Well, Mr. Chair, we'll have to look at six other pages because seven pages in the Senate report. Anyway, anyway, please check na lang pati yung 2023 din, yung records, no? Then, balikan na natin mamaya. Yes, uh, Chairman Dan? So, yung 6.5 billion that uh, good gentlewoman from uh, Marikina was saying, a 6.5 billion was cut out from the DSWD fund. And, saan nagpunta yung 6.5 billion? And who proposes that, ano, that uh, cut out of that, ano, of that uh, budget uh, cutting from the uh, DSWD uh, department? Well, hindi naka-indicate which particular member. Ang naka-indicate lang sa, sa report would be the uh, department. But was it proposed by the lower house or was this it... Pro- is the Senate. This is the Senate report. So sa Senate... Na- Mr. Chairman, can we possibly get a copy of that because we are not uh, privy on that issue? Eh? So the, the we... amendment was done at the Senate. Mm-hmm. Uh, yun lang po, Marina. The, the amendment was proposed by and by the Senate. Pero question, but of course, may minutes sila dyan, di ba? Kaya lang, we are, we are not... Uh, yes. Uh, we don't, and we don't have the document. If you ask that about the document from the Senate, then we will be asking uh, the good gentle uh, gentle lady to, uh, if ever, that she's a member, senior member of the Committee on Appropriation. Probably uh, she can give us a copy of that. And with that, Mr. Uh, Chairman, uh, probably we can see the light. And uh, with that, I uh, submit, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, thank you, Chairman. Mr. Mr. Chair. Uh, before, Mr. Chair. Uh, Senator po. Uh, is it related to the yes. Uh, query? Yes. Uh, after, I interject? After Kong... Congressman uh, Irwin Tolfo, uh, I will recognize uh, Congressman Jesse Abalos, then Chairman Akop. Please proceed. Mr. Chair, maybe we're asking the wrong people uh, on this matter. Kailangan po siguro natin tanungin ay ang Senate, what happened, saan din nila. Simple as it is, hindi po masasagot po ng ating kalihim, no matter how we grill him, hindi rin po masasagot na kasama po natin na uh, Vice Chair ng Appropriation. It happened during sa BICAM and after BICAM, that's where it got lost. Sir, it has been happening. Believe me, as a DSWD secretary, even just for six months, I've learned a lot of things. Na nawawala po ang pondo pagdating sa Baikam, pag-akit po sa Senado, nawawala. And lo and behold, napupunta na lang kung saan-saan. Not, not in the aga, napupunta po kung saan-saan. Believe me. So we're asking the wrong people here. We probably, we might ask, we might, you might want to ask our counterpart. Nila po tayo ng dispensa. Because... No matter how we investigate it, wala hong, wala hong patutungan dahil sila po ang nakakaalam. Simple as it is. We will be wasting our time, hours, and the time of these people here because ginalaw po yun doon sa taas, hindi po dito sa baba. Wala po tayong kasalanan, believe me. It's always up there. For several years now, doon po nangyayari yung galawan. So we might, might probably call for a meeting, a bicam ulit, what happened, saan napunta. Kasi kwento tayo ng kwento, tanong tayo ng tanong, hindi yung nasasagot ni Sekretary dahil kawawa naman yung tao, hindi rin masagot ni Vice Chair. Kasi nga po, wala silang alam because nandoon po sa Senate. You know, siguro, Mr. Chair, that's it. Thank you, Rep. Uh, Erwin Tulfo, for that manifestation. Your manifestation is duly noted. Well, uh, anyway, this is just a briefing and uh, we cannot extract information from uh, anybody from the resource speaker. I know that, but, Mr. Chair, but, unless... but what I'm saying, sir, is that We will be wasting our time uh, asking and uh, doing this inquiry if we cannot ask the Senate. Otherwise, we will not be able to find the solution, uh, Mr. Chair. We will just keep we'll just keep on going around and around and around. Then we will be wasting the time of everybody, Mr. Chair. Uh, anyway, uh, the manifestation of uh, Congressman Tulpo is duly noted. Uh, bef- as I've said, after Congressman Tulpo, I will recognize uh, uh, Congressman G.C. Abalos. Then, Congressman Castro, please proceed. Thank Maraming you. salamat po, Mr. Chair, Madam Chair. Um, to answer the query of our esteemed colleague, Honorable Fernandez, and to further add to the points raised by Congressman Tulfo, um, I would like to add to the minutes or the records of this committee um, a press statement from the Senate. Maybe this would um, address yung tanong po natin regarding the 2023 uh, budget cut um, as presented by our DSWD. Na meron na tayong 9.05 billion deficit noong 2023. Ngayon, kung titingnan po natin ang um, nakasulat dito sa isang press statement sa kung sa Senado, um, nakalagay po diyan. Recommend ang pagtapyas ng 8 billion dahil nga daw mababa yung utilization rate and ini-align ito sa mga ibang programa which are Kalai Seeds, AX, saka sa mga quick response natin sa mga calamity. So sa mat- sa madaling salita po, uh, yun po ang nakalagay sa press statement uh, ni Senator Marcos po kasi siya po yung naging sponsor ng budget ng DSWD. 
Teacher Man, siya ba ang chairperson ng Public Defense ng Budget? ng DSWD sa budget? Noong taon na yun, if I remember correctly, siya po, uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Yo, Chair, yo, then yo, may yo, interject, maybe ask the Secretary yo, then, Mr. Chair. Yo, that's, yo, what yo, that's what they're saying, yo, yo, Sir. Yo, 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 please uh, wait to be recognized when you're speaking. Uh, yo, you're talking about the 9 billion. Yes, I'm talking about 2023, the 9 billion deficit and the 8 okay. billion budget cut for that year. So, tingin ko po, Mr. Chair, kung hindi sana natapyasan ng 8 billion ang budget ng taong yun, yung deficit ng DSWD at sana isang bilyon na lang ngayong dahil natapyasan umabot po ng 9B so yun lang naman po Mr. Chair yun yung nakalagay po sa press statement thank you thank you Congressman Abalos uh, Reptol po Mr. Please. Chair then sinabi nila na nilipat sa kalahi nila that, that, that will solve the problem that will solve the question eh kung wala naman wala naman natanggap yung pobre kawawa naman yung DSWD di po ba Kasi ginagawa lang uh, tambakan, ginagawang taguan or something, hindi naman niya natanggap. So we'll ask the secretary, natanggap po ba ng, uh, ng DSWD? Nalagay po ba sa kalahi? Nalagay po ba sa SLP? Para magkaliwandawan po tayo dito, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Reptol po. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Secretary, yung budget naman po ninyo, from, from NEP to GAA, to MASPO, di ba? from 207 billion to 245. You are correct. Sir. Yes. Sure. But the problem is yung ating important project yung for peace. For peace natapisan. Correct. Now, we're, we're here to look for the reason why natapisan, di po ba? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh hindi po ba doon sa GAP2 which is a product of the house deliberation on the budget, hindi naman po natapisan. Would that be correct? Uh, Secret, please answer the question. No, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, we do not. We're not. We don't have a copy of that uh, in the department. All we have a copy of will be the NEP, our NEP uh, submission, and then we have the final GAA copy. In between, we don't. Unfortunately, we don't have a copy of those things in the middle. Mr. Chair, uh, the the vice chairman of the committee on appropriations is here. Maybe he can answer that uh, question. Na. Yung ating uh, house deliberation on the four-piece uh, fund, eh, hindi tatin binago as provided for in the NEP. Yes, I got uh, that. Uh, before uh, Senior Vice Chair answer the, uh, to make clarification on the query of uh, Chairman Akop, let me acknowledge the presence of Congressman Idol, Senador Rodante Marcoleta, representing once again party list. Please proceed, Senior Vice Chair. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, I confirm that. Doon po sa third reading copy of the HGAB 2024, I can send you a screenshot. Line 55 po. Thank you, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Hindi po ba yung Senado rin, meron din silang proseso na kagaya natin. They come up with their own uh, deliberation insofar as the uh, NEP is concerned. Tama po. Yes. So, yung atin, GAP 2, sa kanila hindi natin nakikita. as uh, the good secretary has stated. But makikita natin may tapyasan after the bicameral conference. Nandun natin nakikita yung malalaking mga pagbabago. Di po ba, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Madam Vice uh, Chairman? Please. Well, Mr. Chair, as I had mentioned earlier, in this particular case, doon pa lang po sa Senate Committee Report, nakita na po natin ang uh, reduction po uh, para sa program na to, yung 6.5 billion. Thank you for the answer, uh, Madam Vice Chair. So, hindi sa House nangyari yung pagtapyas. Nangyari doon sa Senate version. Ang problema, nagkaroon ng bicameral conference, pumayag yung House panel natin doon sa tapyas na yun. That should be the question. Kasi merong sa bicam bicameral conference, may House contingent, may Senate contingent. Yun ang protocol eh. Even if not, uh, I have not been there. Pero yun ang protocol. So, tayo, yung ang tinatanong ko kanina, complicit na rin kami sa pagtapyas eh. Dahil pumayag yung representative namin eh. Please proceed. Mr. Secretary, tumaba po kayo. Blocker, blocker. Because of the job, they don't get to run anymore, Mr. Chair. Uh, before, before you proceed, uh, uh, the intelligence of Congressman Marcoleta, uh, let me remind the members of this committee present 
here that uh, we have to be in the plenary before uh, the uh, votation for the RBH. Yun daw talaga dapat physically present tayo. Uh, hindi ko alam. Uh, Tumimbre lang yung Comsec, so magpapa, timbre lang sila. Kung kailangan natin muna ang temporary mag-adjourn, then siguro mag-resume to tayo even during the break. If the leadership will allow us. So please proceed. Salamat, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I'll start from the issue of the slashing of the budget. Magkano po yung nawala talaga, Mr. Chair, sa uh, budget niyo? Mr. Chair, uh, in the table number, uh, which year, Mr. Chair? Uh, 2023-2024. Yes. Uh, 2023, 13 billion. 2024, 6.5 billion. And, and would you have an idea as to why this is lasting of your budget? Um, Mr. Chair, ang assumption ko, if you look at that earlier trend kasi, the department really had underutilized amounts nung 2020, 2021, 2022. And kung titignan nyo yung corresponding slash, parang magkatugma halos yung hindi namin ginamit at yung tinatanggal. I can only assume. Maybe your assumption, Mr. Secretary, is correct. Because it jibe with the numbers. Comes close. But uh, even if that is correct, and considering that your budget uh, tries to adjust, uh, tries to address particularly the PPP beneficiary, uh, the, the poor peace beneficiaries, di- did you bother to inquire as to why this is last were made in the first place? Uh, we we wrote a reiteration of what is slash and justified why it should not be so for both houses. And and what answer did you get? Uh, we did not get any. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get any. But we weren't expecting rain because it was a quite more of asking. And also, did you ask who was responsible in this last year budget? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, we wrote that letter prior to the release of the GAA because we were lobbying in both houses na wag mabawasan. Because the last time we checked, I think uh, the House of Representatives has nothing to do with this. And after the BICAM, some miracles were performed. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, that is what it seems from this earlier part of this briefing. I, I, I'm not a usual uh, participant in a BICAM. I, I believe I participated in one BICAM only. And I got frustrated. It's boring. Why? If you hindi mo alam kung ano uh, Mr. Secretary. Andiyan ang contingent ng Senate, andiyan ang contingent ng House, but there are only two people talking together, isolated from the rest of us. So, ang, ang gusto ko lang itanong sa inyo, kung sino man yung responsible ng pagkakatanggal ng budget ninyo, alam naman nila na merong target people, beneficiaries, more particularly yung for peace. Did they underestimate your judgment or your capacity to put some numbers to address the needs of the poor peace beneficiaries? M- Mr. Chair, I think the uh, I can only assume again that at the time of the hearing, even in both hearings, mababa talaga yung utilization namin. That's a 30%, uh, 17%, because yeah, we were cleaning the list. And But we kept on repeating, and the minutes will bear me out in both, in all the budget hearings, that I kept on assuring our policymakers na ma-reach namin yung full disbursement because talagang we had a dedicated team doing the listing, the clearing. So we were very confident. But, I believe you, Mr. Secretary. As a matter of fact, a... when, when you were appointed the Secretary of DSWD, I thought that that was the best decision the President ever made. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ngayon, ang tanong, <laughs> ang tanong, ikaw na yung nandun eh. Okay, palagay mong wala na tayong sisisin kung ano man yung mga nakaraan, di ba? Merong siguro, hindi naman sinasadya yun, talagang ganun, nagka-problema yung iba. So, nagkaroon ng underutilization. But, will you will you utilize that particular issue only para tanggalin mo yung budget? Especially now na merong itinalagang secretary which sure is serious enough to do his job and to address the problems Mr. as he see fit. Mr. Chair, I have to give credit where credit is due and not because Congressman Tulfo is here. He started the cleaning of the list. Yes, I, 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 so I know that also. He, during his time, there was an honest-to-goodness effort to yes. clean the list. And they should have... Well, uh, we were hoping that the policymakers saw that effort 
sineryoso talaga yung paglilinis ng listahan. And, and considering that there was already a serious effort going to this direction, like for example, uh, Secretary, now Congressman Tulfo, did his best also until you succeeded him. Bakit naman uh, dahil lang sa perceived utiliz- low utilization ng budget ay inislas yung ganito kalaking pera? Did they, kaya ako tinatanong, are they questioning the integrity of the numbers? Kasi buhay itong mga ito. Eh. Palagay na natin talaga, merong underutilization. But are they, are they supposed to correct a mistake by another mistake, Mr. Secretary? Well, sana hindi ho. Because like we said, we gave the assurance and uh, during budget season, babalikan ko naman, babalik ko ulit ako dito eh. At matatanong ako ulit na, o oh, bakit yung pinangako mo hindi pa rin nangyari? Kaya yeah. pinanindigan talaga namin na isuloy yung paglilinis at seryosohin yung paglilinis. Uh, we were probably hoping that uh, they gave us the chance to show full utilization. Total, at the end of the day, babalik at babalik kami sa Kongreso to ask for money. At makikita niyo ulit kung noong 2023, hindi namin na-utilize. Then, walang credibility yung hiningi namin na leeway. 400 or 800,000 households. Equivalent to some for something million uh, poor peace beneficiaries. Yung poor peace PPP, pantawid, pamilyang Pilipino program. Talagang tawid lang eh. So, with this, talagang itatawid mo lang. You are not even sure how far you were able to tawid him. Baka naman, baka nandun pa rin siya ng edge, di pa siya nakakalayo eh. Pagkatapos, eh, biglang tinanggal itong 8 or 9 billion pesos. What is the quality of the tawid system now? Are, are you, are you, uh, uh, are you not bothered that some of those people na naitawid mo na, baka sakasakaling isa-isa nang bumabalik doon sa pinanggalingan nila. Mr. Chairman, I'm very bothered by that. We are very, very bothered by that. And that's why we, for the record, then I guess it's subject to another hearing. And uh, that's why we will welcome the near poor program, the ACA program. Kasi that's really meant as a crutch for the near poor. I'd like to think na pag non-poor ka dito, hindi ka naman sobrang yaman. Nandun ka lang barely making it in that poverty threshold. And uh, one shock, baka bumalik ka ulit sa ilalim. So, uh, that's a separate topic altogether but bothered definitely very bothered yun nga Mr. Chair Mr. Secretary ganun kabuway yung foundation ng program na to eh konting galaw mo lang to baka bumagsak siya uli so dapat sana kung sino man yung responsible sa gumawa nito inisip niyang mabuti to eh these are 4 million Filipinos who are supposed to be underprivileged na kung kinakailangan supportahan talaga ngayon maring sinasadya niya maring hindi Mr. Chair, paano ba natin malalaman kung sino yung responsible dito? Uh, anyway, uh, that, wa- that query was directed uh, a while ago to Sec. Uh, Rex Gachalian, but of course he cannot answer it because uh, he's, he's not part of the of the BICAM. But of course, uh, uh, Congressman Abalos manifested uh, based on uh, press report that it was uh, the good Senator Amy Marcos that proposed to slash the budget for $8 billion. And it is... Uh, it is on record now in this uh, committee uh, through the manifestation made by uh, by Congressman Abalos. No, but in fairness to Senator uh, Amy Marcos, Mr. Chair, we cannot make any judgment based on 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 on, uh, on press reports. No? Siguro ang pwede nating gawin. Let's let's make an official inquiry. Paano nangyari yan? Because uh, the good secretary might know that my party list is sakit. Sagip is social amelioration and genuine intervention on poverty because the sector of this representation is the urban poor. Malaking, malaki ang, uh, ang, ang stake ko naman dito sa pagka sector ito eh, na aking ginagalawan dito. For the, for the longest time, I've been representing this. Bakit naman, uh, bakit naman nagkaganon? There might, there should be a reason. Malaking ano ito eh. Malaking problema ito, Mr. Chair. Hindi naman basta naisip niya lang, napanaginip niya lang, napanaginip pa niya, biglang tatanggalin dito. Simply because there was under underutilization here and there. Siguro kung pinag-uusapan natin dito are projects, DPW, wala naman buhay na pinag-uusapan dun eh. Unless hospital ang pinag-uusapan sa ibang. Pero ito kasi, pangsalag eh, sa mga taong, itatawid mo lang yan. Dapat palakasin mo talaga yung uh, kumbaga sa ano, dapat may mga riprap ka dito para hindi sila bumagsak. Tapos inalisan mo kaagad ng ganito karami. This is a very serious issue, Mr. Chair. Sana we, sh- we should have a formal inquiry. Sino yung responsible from here? Nasaan ay pagkatapos ng mag-bike na wala bigla? Let us, let us 
do everything possible not only probably to identify who is or are responsible. Ang vlog na ito ay bukas sa anumang opinion, pahayag o mensahe. Napanood nyo ba ang buong balitang ito? At nais nyo bang makapanood ng bagong balita araw-araw tungkol sa nangyayari sa ating bansa? Ang gawin mo lang, pindutin ang subscribe red button sa baba at huwag mo rin kalimutang pindutin ang bell icon, pati na rin ang nakasulat na all para ma-update ka sa aming mga bagong videos. Maraming salamat ka, Abamers!